All right, man. Sketch Pad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So look, we are gonna react to something that this young lady said about women and the obsession that people have over certain things. So we be back, man. Sketch Pad. You know what it is. All right, yeah, man, we back. Look, man. Hey, if you want to donate, link's right there. You know what I'm saying? Cash app, PayPal's all in the description. Hey, hit the notification bell if you like the content. And I see a lot of people who are not subscribed who watch our content. Subscribe for the greatest podcast in the world. You know what it is. And we're going to be doing a bunch of videos from now on, a lot of stuff live. Everything's coming, so just be prepared for it. And um uh yeah, so let's get to it, man. Let's see what this girl gotta say. Men are not obsessed with women like they used to be. Y'all don't find that kind of weird? And to be honest, no, I don't find that kind of weird. Because what exactly is there for men to be obsessed with in today's world? Women have left no room for imagination, none whatsoever. It's like your sense of entitlement is out of control. Your expectations are unrealistic. Y'all walk around showing your bodies half dressed, half exposed 24 7, out smoking, drinking, partying 24 7, on the scene 24 7. A lot of y'all are not even coming with nothing to the table because you're too busy with your hand out trying to see what man got the next bag so he can sponsor your lifestyle to make you look like you're living a lifestyle to post on the internet. It's like a lot of y'all don't have common sense. A lot of y'all don't know how to hold a conversation a lot of y'all don't have no originality about yourselves everybody is getting the same body everybody is getting the same hairstyle everybody looks the exact same and it's like y'all get that confused oh well men like that no men will fuck that but men are not wiping that and they're not cuffing that and i think y'all are starting to realize that and then the first thing y'all want to say is oh well they're gay they're sassy no they're not they're just tired of what you guys are presenting and if y'all are here to give them free pussy, free looks, and free everything they ain't got to work for, uh, why would they? But they're never going to take you serious. So it seems to me like a lot of y'all are now starting to realize that you're either losing value or have lost value from chasing attention. And now that's something that y'all got to deal with and y'all can't face that fact. Yeah, man. She's absolutely right. Women haven't left. They have not left anything for a man to imagine anything anymore. The imagination for me is gone. I'm going to tell you like this. I got a bunch of different women on my Facebook page. All on the top of my timeline, like on the top where it says stories. Every one of them is clapping their booty cheeks. Every one of them is twerking. I got to the point where I deleted my Instagram because it was just nothing but women Shaking their butts. Now, don't get me wrong. I like women shaking their ass. I love it. But at the same time, it's gotten to the point where now everybody's doing it. And it's like, okay, you over, you overdoing it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have a gay bone in my body. I just don't like, I just don't care for it no more. Twerking down is overrated. It's overrated. Because a good portion of y'all ain't giving them no cheeks. So I don't care how much you twerk. It's overrated. So when I see these girls twerking, I just scroll past it. I don't, I'm not impressed no more. I haven't seen all types of ass. Big ass, small ass, shaking ass, all types of ass. So I scroll yeah. past it. But go ahead. Yeah, I, um, I, I, I basically do the same thing you do. Um, I remember, I'm a member of one of these groups, excuse me, I'm a member of one of these groups on Facebook, it's like a fan page for Kevin Samuels, I don't know if you've seen the group, and in this group, they always post stuff about guys and females and things like that, so this one particular video that one of the group members posted was of this one chick she had the uh, Brazilian butt lift, but it was way, way, way too much. And she was interviewing another chick 
who was dressed like she might as well have been naked. And the whole video, the whole time, was they were talking about the other chick that was doing the interview, how her body was proportioned. And it looked very awkward. Like, let me tell you something, ladies. Stop doing this whole butt thing with your with, with your backside and you not having the legs to match the rest of your body because it looked weird she looked like she looked like a foghorn leghorn skinny legs and then you go up top she got the round buttocks you know what i'm saying it looked extra weird so my wife and i looking at this joint and we like yo i'm like yo you see this I was like, yo, this is some weird stuff right here. And and I'm like, so what is, so what is going to make her attractive for somebody to want to go holler at that? Why does she why do you guys even think that is cute? It's not cute. And and and, and, I, and I just came to the point where I was like, man, it's disgusting. Like don't get me wrong, like I'm a guy you know, but I just I don't find anything appealing when that's just that's just way too much. If my wife ever did that, I'll make her go remove it right away. I'm I'm dead ass. Y'all gotta stop distorting your body and thinking and thinking that looks good on you. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Chick look like foghorn leghorn. I lie to you not. Mm. All right, so so continuing on, what she said is true, and we're gonna prove it. We're gonna show y'all another video describing what she just was talking about. So we be back. All right, yeah. So we're gonna watch this video, and this proves exactly what the girl was just saying in the last video. So let's go. How much money do I have to make to date you? Um, more than me. Which is? I can't tell you that, but I make, you know, a pretty good penny. Okay. okay. Hey. So. Do you think that when you shake ass in the camera and stuff, like men are gonna look at this and be like, you know, that's a girl who I want to make my wife? I don't give a fuck. I don't want these. Let me tell you something, baby. I was raised by my father. Fuck you, niggas. I, I date one of you niggas and I keep two in the chamber. So do you at all times, at all times. Fuck you, niggas. I don't give a fuck. I'm my wife. What you, what do you, you not want to be a wife one day, though? The question. Do you not want to be a wife one day, though? When I'm old, when you shake ass. I need to know your connotation yeah, yeah, of wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I'm a lot of niggas' wife. Okay. But I'm a lot of niggas' type. Do you have a ring? I got, I got a few. Plenty. I got plenty of rings. Bitch, I forgot to put my other piggy ring on. I'm iced out. Let me put but, the light on that but, shit. But has a man of a ring? Let me put the ice on that shit. Yeah. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, the hoes of America. Back at it again. She for the streets, yo. Both of them. Both Look, of them for the let me explain something to y'all. The arrogance, the audacity, the nastiness, the the ignorance, the uh, 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 narcissism, all the words you can name that's negative. These women display that 100,000 yeah. percent. And for, for her to say she got upset when he said you don't want to be somebody's wife. She literally got upset. You know why she got upset? Because she knows that nobody would ever take her serious. Yep. She knows that. She got to the point where she says, I don't give a fuck. He didn't ask you that. But she knows that nobody's ever going to take her serious. That's it. That's exactly why she says she don't care. It's like somebody, it's like somebody being abused in a relationship for 10 years. And they eventually just don't care no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. And it's like, oh, I keep a few niggas. My daddy told me, my daddy said, fuck you niggas. Ain't no father who has some type of decency if he isn't a dog and isn't a person who didn't give a fuck. Ain't no father gonna tell his daughter to say fuck niggas. I Unless know. he is a nigga that you would say fuck that nigga. Her daddy wasn't no good because ain't no way in the world I'm ever gonna tell my daughter fuck these niggas out here. No, I'm gonna tell my daughter you find a good man and you lock him down. That's what I'm gonna tell my daughter. So for her to say that, I know her daddy ain't shit. Because mm-hmm. if he was, he would have never told her that. That ain't no game. You don't teach your daughter that. Because look, what this is what you get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I keep two. She said, I keep two in the chamber, which means I got one guy and two other guys. So I got three guys as multiple sex with three guys. This is what we call sexual liberation, people. Right here. This is it. That right there is your young American woman. Your Western women right there is the reason why us as men, we take trips overseas and wife women there. Because this is what you got to deal with right here. Give her a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> the hoes yeah. of America. Yo, she they both scallywags, man. Like, um, and, and the funny thing is that they think they think that's cute. They think it's cute. Like, I'll never tell my daughter that. Why would I tell my daughter that? Why am I tell my daughter that? The 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 key to a woman's success as far as like finding a good man. It starts from the upbringing of the father and the daughter. And I'm learning that. I need to make sure my daughter feels like the queen that she should feel like the whole entire time. That's why That's why you ever, uh, you ever hear the saying, like, you know what I mean, like father like daughter, like, not father like daughter, but when a daughter has a father wrapped around the finger, there's a reason why reason behind that because the daughter knows that she can get the father to move and get this and get that but if the father has a good strong moral compass and he's raising the daughter and he's molding the daughter he's telling the daughter listen you find a good man just like you said you find a good man you you lock that guy down don't let him go nowhere you do what you need to do to keep him, but don't mistreat him, misuse him, whatever. You know, show him what your worth is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you have somebody like that, you keep them. You can tell from what how these women were acting, they never had a father like that. The father was the exact opposite. Mm-hmm. Exact opposite. And you could, and he and the father was probably, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever in front of them at a young age. So they so they didn't see they didn't see the fruit, the fruitfulness of what a father and a mother supposed to be. They seen the opposite. You could tell. Yeah. You know? Hey man, look. Sketch pad, you know what it is, man. You need to do better, ladies. Because uh, if you don't. Go find yourself by yourself. I know you don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You'll care. You'll care. Okay, all right. We out of here. (laughs) See y'all. Peace. Bye.